Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV on the PC. Um, so yeah, I did the Orem Vale dungeon. Did not take too long. It was a cool location, though. Um, it was a, it was like a a marble Marlboro place with like yellow acid everywhere, and it was uh, a rather colorful cave setting. Um, pretty unique. Not too tough. I I mean, we had some experienced players with us. We did actually wipe once because of a uh, too big of a pull. Uh, very early on, I think he overestimated something. But from then on, it was just good, smooth sailing, and, uh, the bosses weren't too crazy or anything. Um, two of the bosses put out, like, a dot, a big dot on people that stacked, and you had to eat this fruit to get rid of it. That was about it. Uh, but it got me halfway through 49, which is very nice. And we got new robes. New robes with a cape. God damn, look at me. I'm looking slick as hell. I like that a lot. And a uh, new ring. That's all good. It's all good. Let's put the yokai watch on just, just because. All right. So since we are 49, let us continue the main story, which will include a trial. So I'll be switching back to Scholar very soon, I'm sure. I like this cape, though. I like it a lot. Damn, I look, I look high level. And hey, when the game came out, this would have been high level. Operation Archon. All present? Then let us begin. We have received the details of the impending operation. In what promises to be the largest single counteroffensive in the realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Eorzean soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory. It is enough that each man understand his part and plays it to the best of his ability. The finer instructions you will receive at each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From west to east, the Maelstrom of Limsa the Immortal Flames of Ulda, and the Order of the Twin Adder of Gritania. Next, let us examine the locations of the Imperial Strongholds. Near Limsa Lominsa, we have Castrum Occidens, though situated in eastern Vilbrand and Castrum Marinum, which lies to the south and east in the midst of the Rotano Sea. Near Ulda, we have Castrum Merid 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 Meridian Meridium Merid Meridian Merid Meridianum Meridianum to the north, and the coastal outpost at Cape Westwind, which connects Castrum Marinum to the mainland by means of a Magitek transporter. Near Gridania, we have Castrum Orients, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelveswood. And finally, in Mordona, stands Castrum Sentry, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. The forthcoming operation was the Allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations, with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon, housed within Castrum Merid Meridianum. As one might expect of the Black Wolf's seat of power, Castrum Meridianum boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from its sister stronghold. To 
do otherwise would be risk being to would be to risk being caught twixt hammer and anvil. The operation will comprise four distinct phases, all told. The first shall see us eliminate one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Ritan Rititin Sas Arvana. According to our intelligence, the Prefectus is due to visit the Imperial outpost at Cape Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer unit to eliminate him. Mang, we would have you lead this assault. Rititin is a peerless field tactician. Shorn of his leadership, the garrison at Castrum Occidens will be as a snake without its head. Phase 2 will see us sever Castrum Meridianum's primary lines of supply. As soon as Rititin's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrum Occidens. At that very hour, the Lamincen Armada, helmed by the Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Marinum. Meanwhile, in the Twelveswood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castrum Orients. And they'll have the Sylphs to help them. Frixio's been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castor Meridianum's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the Stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy's eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventurer unit shall infiltrate the, infiltrate the Castro. Its mission? To disable the Magitech field generator which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the Ultima weapon is believed to be housed. Mang, we would have you take command once more. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway which connects Sentry and Meridianum, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. A wise precaution. The monstrous locomotive, which runs back and forth between the two castra, is capacious enough to transport a small army, by all accounts. It is well the Garleans did not think to give it wings. Once Meridianum's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. This will see the immortal flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the enemy garrison allowing Mang's unit to pass unopposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima weapon. Damn, dude. By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. In addition to the Grand Companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties, from the Pirates of Limsa Lominsa to the Monetaris of Ulda. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Legend holds that the Archons were 12 in 1 and 1 in 12. It is for this reason that our grand endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. Countless free companies have also pledged their swords, and more join us by the day. At long last, all of Eorzea is rising as one. As before, we Scions shall work in concert with the grand companies. Ida, Papalimo, Yashtola, pray accompany your respective organizations on their missions. Uranger, I would have you represent us in Ulda. Reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray return here and aid in the coordination of our forces. Tataru, please assist Uranger in any way you are able, and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. And Philia, Sid, and I shall accompany the main host in an advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence that comes into our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alphinode mentioned, you are to lead the elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to see each of Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and I would like to and like to be the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well and stint not in your preparation. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of a united Eorzea.
pay report to the Immortal Flames encampment situated to the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Yes, hail the crystal. I like, though, that it's actually, like, this is, like, a country, you know, going to war. And you're just sort of a small part of it. You know, you're an important part, but it's just a small part. Whereas a lot of Final Fantasy games, it's sort of like, it's these th six fucks, and they're the greatest heroes in the world, and it's up to them to save us all. So, you know, I like that you're just kind of a cog in a machine. All right, speak with the Allied Communications Officer in Vesper Bay. Okay. I mean, I've got a cape. How could I possibly lose? How could we lose? <clears throat> you are welcome. You are welcome, Magmang of the Scions. As communications officer, it falls to me to issue you your orders and provide guidance on forthcoming missions. Your first mission is to infiltrate the Imperial outpost at Cape Westwind and eliminate Prefectus Rittitan, Rittitan Sas Arena. All participating units are now in position and awaiting your arrival. Please, please proceed to the staging point and report to Lieutenant Aldebert. This is but the first step in our bid to purge the realm of the Garlean menace. I shall pray for your success. You better be praying to Ralgar. That's the only god I respect. All right, so that whole thing with the uh, OBS software, hardware, blah, 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 it didn't really make much of a difference in the end. From the looks of it, the only thing that really makes a difference is reducing the quality of Final Fantasy XIV in-game. Because the big problem is that Final Fantasy XIV is sucking up a lot of uh, my GPU. Partly because I'm running an ultra wide and I was running on all max settings. Even though it doesn't look great, it was eating it up. So I had to reduce the quality just to make the recording pretty smooth while still being a good quality recording. So you're Mang Mang, the fearless adventurers to lead the assault. We've been expecting you. Our Maelstrom friends report that Rita Tin Sasarvina departed Castrum Occidens of Belago. Sure enough, a convoy of Imperial airships landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was aboard one of the vessels. I have dispatched scouts to verify his presence before we strike. Commander to all, command to all units, requesting status report. This is Antline 1. Target has not been sighted. This is Antline 2. Likewise, target has not been sighted. Antline 3 here. We got nothing for you neither. Antline 4. Nothing to report as of... Wait. Disregard previous message. Target sighted. I say again. Target sighted. Understood. Hold your position. Attention all units, this is Lieutenant Aldebert Cotter. First step of Operation Archon begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope of victory will be lost. It is no small burden, but know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves, and together we will blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow. We will create multiple diversions and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give your people a chance to breach their defenses. Go now, Mang, and bring us Redditon's head. May Ralgar grant you strength. Yeah, fucking Ralgar!
Commence diversionary maneuvers. Okay. We have to go to the gate. I'll march up there with my behemoth. Okay, but I don't... No, I don't want to fight you. Thanks for, thanks for opening the gate, but I don't want to fight you. Shit. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Like how I was expected to solo just run up here and deal with this problem. No, I don't want to fight that. I feel like I'm going to have to. Ah, oh, god damn it. I want to res this guy, though. Oh, it takes forever. There you go. I got you, pal. Dude, I rezzed his ass. Oh, shit. Dude, okay, if you die again, dude, I don't know, man. Okay, dude, you're gonna get us both killed. Fuck. If I was a scholar, this would be no problem. Okay, we gotta just... Gotta be vigilant here. Wow, he put them both to sleep. Good job. All right. Just a little bit of excitement before the trial. That's all. Alrighty. So, let us read about this boss we're going to be fighting. That's important, I think. Riddatin. Okay, he has two... Oh, this is the dual shield guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throughout the fight, Riddatin will spawn flaming circles on the ground. Avoid the circles. Uh, avoid his missiles. He spawns adds. Oh, but this is an eight man. Oh, all right, that's cool. From the, I mean, the strategy section is like two lines, so it's pretty simple from the sound of it. Uh, all right, we're fine. We're fine. Spring out, Celine, and Cape Westwind. Uh, what does it say? Okay, eight players. Um, there we go. It was not instant. The Orin Veil wasn't instant either, so I don't know what's what's going on. Too many people are just doing fates to get yokai. It appear we have unexpected guests. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, but of course, the man who fell the mighty titan. This is the Icon Slayer? I see. The commotion without is naught but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison at Occidents. 
A bold strategy, to be sure. But have you the strength to see it to fruition? Leave us. None of you are a match for him. Send word to Castrum Occidents. Tell him the Lominsons are coming. At once, me lord. Fifteen years have come and gone since Lord Van Balsar first set foot in Eorzea, yet his ambition for the realm burns as strong as ever it did. Know you what, know you what fuels it, adventurer? The desire to deliver the people from their suffering. The lands he has conquered were all beset with problems. Poverty, starvation, lawlessness, and strife. My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the Empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people enjoyed such peace and stability as we had never known, and he only desires the self-same for the people of this realm. Under his rule, Eorzea would be free from the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. There would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses, no icons to bleed the realm dry. True peace would reign, and the people would be free to live their lives without fear of persecution or oppression. Should you doubt the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Garlemald, yet Lord Van Balsar saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the field of battle. He has given me a noble cause to fight for, and were there were the adversaries to smite. I am not wont to bear my steel needlessly, but if you are deaf to reason. In the name of Lord Van Balsar, I, Riddatin Sassarvina, do swear to strike you down. I'm trying to read fast, but still, I mean, it's so mean to make people wait. They can't start until, you know, I'm done. <laughs> and they were definitely waiting on me. So, fuck. Uh, yeah, I do feel bad, but that's not going to change my approach. All right, we got eight people. Look at this. It's crazy. This is uh, likely, I, I guess it's your first introduction to eight people trials and stuff so it's probably not too complicated because of that this guy has so much fucking health dude 9300 health He's already dead. What the fuck? What sort of level sync process is that? Forgive me. I have failed you. Lord Van Balsar! Hmm. That's it. I mean, it was. I didn't. Even, I probably could have not pushed a single button, and we would have been perfectly fine. They could have done the the, the trial while I was in that cinematic at the start. <laughs> it wouldn't have made a difference. Celine would have thrown out some heals. I wouldn't have been hit by anything. Whatever. That's funny. That light. The Magitek transporter. Uh, he's not supposed to be gruffy, I'm sorry. Mang, are you there? What news of Riddittin? Fallen? With this deed, you have sown the seeds of our ultimate victory. It takes me like as much time to kill one enemy as it did for that whole party to kill that guy. The fading of that light presages an end to the Empire's tyranny. Riddittin Sassarvina is no more. 
Let the next phase of Operation Archon commence. Hurrah! Tis I. It seems you've done it again, Mang. I'd raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we've no time to savor the victory. There's still the small matter of infiltrating Castor Merid Merid Meridianum and destroying the Ultima weapon. I know, I know. No rest for the preternaturally gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way back to the Immortal Flames encampment. The communications officer will issue you your orders. I'll be waiting for you with the main host. Look, Hydaelyn, your minion comes, bringing the light. Alas, the gate to the void already stands open. Soon darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down before the one true god. Ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ha. Prefectus, slain? Regrettably so, my lord, and at the hand of the Icon Slayer, if the Centurion who survived the attack is to be believed. Ritatin. Where were his men when he faced the enemy? Fleeing even as their commander yielded up his last breath. It should prove they questioned his right. I, I, I cannot speak for them, my lord. Beg pardons, my lord, but there is more. The Maelstrom has laid siege to Castrum Occident. Likewise, the Crimson Fleet moves to blockade Castrum Marinum. So this is their answer. Very well. We shall crush them as we crushed the icons. Go forth and show them the futility of their resistance. Yes, my lord. You can try. Alright. I get any cool gear from that? No. We really didn't get almost anything. I got a commendation. That's nice, even though I didn't do anything. I, sh I assume people just always hand it to healers or, or tanks. Sion Mang, your deeds this day are an inspiration to us all. With the death of the Prefectus, Operation Archon has entered its second phase. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom moves to blockade Castrum Occidens and Castrum Marinum. And far to the east, in the Black Shroud, the Order of the Twin Adder advances upon Castrum Orient. Already you have done much to advance our cause, performing such feats as are worthy of song. But if our plan is to succeed, more is required of you. Let me know when your preparations are in order, and I shall relay to you the particulars of your next mission. Ooh, a cow. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work for me, homie. Because that's... I mean, that's only ever so slightly better than my ro my clothes. And my clothes have a cape. This has no cape. Yeah, I think the choice is clear. A hero in need. Phase two of the operation is presently in motion. Our brothers and sisters of the Maelstrom are holding their own against Garlean forces upon Vilbrand and the Rotano Sea. Ere long, the third phase will begin, and you must take to the field once more. The Immortal Flame shall strike at Castor Mer Meridianum by way of a diversionary maneuver. While the Garleans are thus locked in battle, you are to infiltrate the stronghold and bring down the Magitech field that surrounds the Praetorium. 
The staging point for the mission lies in the shadow of Castor Meridianum in northern Thanalan, and that is where you must go. On your way there, however, I would ask that you make a brief stop at Camp Blue Fog, one of our key outposts in the area. The garrison, I am told, is in low spirits, and it would do our troops well to see the hero of Cape Westwind appear before them. For the good of our cause, please stoke the fire in their hearts. Alright, I've never been there. Yeah, like I said, we got two dungeons, one right after the other. Should be pretty exciting. Where am I going? <sighs> yeah, I mean, even when it's not on max settings, it, the game doesn't look that much different. So, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Although now I notice, hold on. Um. Oh, there we go. No, we want to set it at 60. There we go, that should help even more. Although that cut my frame rate to 40 instead of 80. What the fuck? That's not how that's supposed to work. It should limit it to 60. What the fuck? And then it goes up to 93 when I turn... Yeah, and then that tanks my game, because that's too high. What the fuck? Okay. I guess set it at 60, and we'll just deal with the 40. As long as it looks good for you guys. You are more important than I am. Oh, shit. I should have gotten the ether right. Ah, Private Mang. Yours is a most welcome presence here at Camp Blue Fog. Logistically speaking, we are ready to march on Castor Meridianum at a moment's notice. Alas, while our troops are here in body, their minds are anywhere but. The garrison's mood is dark. So daunting is the prospect of joining what may prove to be the bloodiest battle in history. But with a hero such as you walking among them, we may yet rekindle the dwindling embers within their souls. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's, uh... Oh, I got a Morble card. Oh, I already have one. I must have gotten that from the dungeon. That's interesting. I also got a Morble little minion. Which I won. I felt good about. Uh, Embossed Book of Electrum is even better. Very nice. Very nice. Crack that baby open. Good, 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 good. Hearts on fire. Private Mag, I mentioned that I was hoping you might raise the flagging spirits of the men and women of our garrison. Worry not. It is not it is no unnecessary laborious task that we ask of you. The mere presence of a hero such as you walking in their midst would no doubt serve to restore them in a measure of morale. So I ask of you this. Make your way to the Cerulean Processing Plant, and report to General Raubon when you, once you have arrived. And Godspeed, Private Mang. Our troops are counting on you. Yeah, I'm still a fucking private. I feel like I should get an honorary position in the military at this point. I mean, I should be like a fucking general. Alright, let me... I want to look into this.
Okay. You have to use, like, an external program. I think you can do that in NVIDIA. Um, give me a second. Uh, all right, I think I might have to restart the game to get that working, so we'll do that later. Uh, here we have another etherite. How oh, kind of them. Rawan. Well, if it isn't the hero who brought down the Perfectus, it's good to have you with us, friend. As you can see, the mood about the camp here is grim at best. I was hoping that your presence alone might serve to raise spirits some. Unfortunately, it would seem that many are too preoccupied wallowing in fear and self-pity that they have yet to even notice you have arrived. Might I ask you to make the rounds and share a few words of encouragement to those men and women whose spirits falters? I had a mind to do it myself, but I'm quite certain it would carry more weight coming from you. Once you have seen to the others, go and do the same for Edelstein. No matter what he may claim, the lieutenant would also be better for a bit of rousing. Trust me, I know. But I'm just a private. What could I do? Um, uh, oh, Edelstein's there. Let's get the other ones. Rally. Rally. Uh, thank you, I think. Whatever that was, it momentarily distracted me from my woes. Oh, fucking psych. Why did I think it was rally? He must have said rally. Ah, the Garleans are not near as frightening as you. I'd sooner face a vanguard while naked is my name day. All right. Is that a compliment? Fuck. Fuck. I break my fist on Garleans, and right now I'm very hungry. You know, after we do this, we're going to have a lot of class quests to do. There's going to be a video of just class quests. Your stirring gesticulation has reawakened me to my purpose. Here or no, I will fight tooth and nail to protect the realm. You would stoke my fighting spirits as you did our recruits? <laughs> A kind offer, but hardly necessary. I assure you, the fire in my heart rages as strongly as it ever has. Okay. Oh, I gotta do it anyways. By Ralgar. Without my realizing it, the fire of my resolve had grown dim. But thanks to you, it burns red hot once more. If needs be, I shall lay down my life to secure victory for Eorzea. Well, great, I guess. Uh, all of these add strength, vitality. Determination's good, I guess. Go for that. Uh, no, he doesn't even care for it. All right, we have to be 50. So I think let's go do class quest right now. Um, starting with Scholar, I suppose, which is back in Limsa I know you're all hyped to just, oh, ultimate weapon. Yeah, let's go kick his ass. But I guess we got to be 50. Well, hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I thought we'd be 50 because I thought the trial would give us more XP than it did, but... That's alright. I mean, we do need to do class quests, like I said. We're missing out on a bunch of abilities. Alright. Alkazoka. Consequences of Anger. 
How curious that you've always come at the most opportune time, Mang. Tis divine providence, almost. Doubly so, since we have both been blessed with the chance to refine our respective arts. You see, in your absence, I have been studying a section of the Nymean Treatise, detailing marauder fighting techniques. The fundamentals do not differ much from modern methods, but there are slight variations in footwork and grip, as well as the distinctions between the various ranges and the attacks best employed when... Forgive me, I lost sight of the more pertinent point. Nymean scholars and marauders fought side by side, yes? Well, now you and I have an opportunity to do the same. A Tonberry has been spotted in Bronze Lake, and the Marauder's Guild has been asked to dispatch it. Since Tonberries dwell within the Wanderer's Palace, an ancient Nymean temple recently discovered in the wake of the Calamity, there is a strong possibility that creatures have resided there since before the fall of Nim. Do you follow my reasoning, Mang? These malevolent creatures may have overrun the temple and claimed it for their own at the height of Nymean civilization. They may have posed a major threat to the ancient people, even. If so, then surely facing one in battle would rekindle the memories of your fairy. Even if I am mistaken, the Tonberry poses a threat to the locals. Moreover, I would very much like to put my newly learned Nemean techniques to the test. So we will rendezvous outside the Wanderer's Palace, yes? Yes, we shall. Level sink, 44. Well met, Mang. I had only just arrived myself. It was in this vicinity that the Tonberry was last sighted. With luck, it will not have gone far. Look, atop the stairs. My son, my dear son, at long last, I... I... The, the rancor, it rises, it rises. It comes. Alright, it's the first Tonberry we've seen in the game. Alright, I don't think there's much for me to do here other than spam ruin. There's some jellies coming our way. It's all right, I got you. Just keep keep fighting. We'll get it. Here, oh. Just hold aggro. Hold aggro. Hold aggro. Dumb bitch. Dude, she's gonna fucking die, man. I'm gonna fucking die. We're all gonna die. I'm gonna run out of mana. Oh, shit. I don't have ether flow. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. Oh, we got it. Oh, shaw. God damn it. We killed the Tonberry. I think I probably shouldn't have even bothered healing. I should have just continued to burn it down. Go for that. You'd think that 
a, a, a healer class quest would focus on you healing, not spamming, you know, your one attack spell over and over. I feel like that's really a wasted opportunity. I wonder if they change that, you know, with later class, class quests. I do have an AOE spell. Very MP intensive. Let's give it a try. No, I can't. No, you're right. We're too low level. Damn, that level sync really is fucking me up. Oh, she's getting destroyed, dude. So it is sort of a... No, fuck, okay. I think I do have to just kill all these little things. I was trying to take the easy way out, but that's not gonna happen. She has an absurd amount of health because my heals do almost nothing to her. All right, here we go. Just bio, bio, bio it up. Okay, I think I do have to hit them. Oh, they die in one shot. Almost one shot. Fuck me, dude. Stay alive. I mean, she could just like turn around and one shot these things. This is not the healer's job, goddammit. What are you doing? Move, damn you! My. Confound it all! Rekindled the fairy's memories. That's good. What happened, Mang? I thought you could control her. I apologize. I know you've only just begun to work with the fairy. Some disobedience is to be expected. Axemaster, we're no we're in Zoin. Would be we'll be disappointed, but there's not we can do. The Tonberry's long gone. Let us return to Limsa Lominsa. I 
mean, I don't care. It wasn't my job. My job was just to go with you. Ah, oh, man, permit me to apologize a second time. Earlier, I I was flustered and not myself. In the aftermath of the Tonberry's escape, I completely overlooked our accomplishments. We confirmed the viability of Nemean tactics and proved that a scholar and marauder working in tandem is a force to be reckoned with, would you not say? And correct me if I'm mistaken, but your fairy regained some of her memory, yes? With that in mind, I feel comfortable claiming that this was a worthwhile endeavor. However, do try and gain greater mastery over your minion, Mang. I would hate for a repeat of that incident. Oh, we're so close. Good to see you, Mang. I have made yet another discovery which pertains to you and your scholarly arts. I have come into possession of several ancient engravings, including some which show the traditional raiments of Nemean scholars. In fact, the extraordinary detail of these illustrations, coupled with information gleaned from other sources, was sufficient to deduce their design. At present, it is impossible to say how historically accurate my designs are. That is why I propose we enlist the aid of Eorzea's preeminent artisans, so that we might recreate these garments. Should they prove sufficiently authentic, I expect your fairy will regain more of her missing memories. In the hands of a preeminent, preeminent weaver, say Master Redolent Rose of Sun Silk Tapestries, this information should be sufficient. Ah, but you cannot journey to Olda until you have gathered the leaves of a dire wart. My texts explicitly mention that the plant's pigments were used to dye Nemean uniforms. The last dire wart is much rarer than it was in the days of yore. It can only be found in the fog fence now. Lest you think I mean to make you do all the work, worry not. While you scour Mordona for the plant, I will contact Master Rose and convince him to help, though I doubt it will require much effort. I mean, look, you you know what's going to... I'm going to have to run over there. I'm going to fight a thing. I'm going to get the thing. I'm going to go to old... Uh, Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's not going to be super exciting quest going on here. Uh, but we did get... We did get... I thought we were supposed to get Lustrate. Oh, no, it's the 45. Qu oh, that's right. I skipped the 40 quest initially because I knew it wasn't going to give us anything. This will give us Lustrate. And then a 50 sacred soil creates a designated area in which party members will only suffer 90% of all damage inflicted. Wow, that's not that great. Am I wrong or is that not that great? That seems not that great. Dude, he's dragging my mobs. What the fuck? Yeah, fucking reset. God damn it. What is this guy even doing? I don't know. It worked, I guess. Thanks, pal. Alright. That was easy. From what I understand, like, later on, class quests are more interesting, and, like, 
classes they added and expansions have some really like cool class stories like the dark knight so shouldn't really expect much out of the, the scholar here uh where am i though probably the weaver's guild i would assume making an assumption here we go oh right on the money baby I suppose you do have a rather scholarly air about you. I've been expecting you, Mang. Have you the leaves in Alkazoka's designs, then? Sure do. Crafting raiments that have not been seen in 1,500 years. This is indeed a daunting challenge. But it is one I suspect I will enjoy a great deal, for rare is the day a weaver revives ancient fashion. I shall begin at once. You may observe if you like, but we are aware it'll be a lengthy process. It, it has been some time since I labored with such intensity. I adhered to Alkazulka's designs as best I could, though there were certain aspects I felt compelled to change. His lack of familiarity with textiles and weaving led to what I can only assume are errors. You will note that I could only complete the culottes. This is because the other garments require skills which I do not possess. Mistress Serendipity and Jiva of the Goldsmiths and Leather Workers Guilds, respectively, can provide the finishing touches to the remaining pieces. Uh, but you were unaware that I could not craft the full set by myself, weren't you? Very well. I shall send word to them on your behalf, Meng. You will need only visit each guild and present to them my unfinished work. I thought Alkazulka was a girl. I thought she was like this badass warrior woman uh, with a scholarly twist and we could get married. Not that, I mean, we, we couldn't get married. Uh... Greetings, Mang. Red said you'd be along shortly, so let's see that mortar board. Sure, here you go. Hmm, this shouldn't take long. Wait here a moment. Here it is, as promised. Amazing what a difference a mithril tassel can make, isn't it? Wear it with pride, Mang. Now off you go, and be sure to enjoy your time in Gridania. Bouncing all around for this nonsense. Just for a spell. Jiva. Uh, Mang, the man who would single-handedly revive the scholarly arts. All right, then, show me what you've got. Master Rose's work is marvelous, as to be expected. This will be a pleasure. There you go. One pair of fingerless buffalo leather gloves. Perfect for the scholar who prefers that his protection does not come at a cost of dexterity. Oh, the boots. Belly will see to those. He's an expert cord waner, so you needn't worry about the quality. Besides, I've already spoiled you by making your gloves for free. Okay. You're the scholar, yes? 
I've been instructed to assist you. If you would please let me see Master Rose's work. Yeah, here you go. Travel across the whole country just to get this put together. This craftsmanship is amazing. I can't wait to get started. Here you are, sir. Made with the finest boar and buffalo leather, in accordance with Alkazulka's designs, which are very impressive, I must say. You must be dying to see the completed set. I know I would be, had I gone to such great lengths. You ought to surprise him by wearing the garments when next you meet him. Well, that's just a hell of an idea, isn't it? Is it actually, like, armor, or is it just nonsense? Oh, it actually is armor. And it looks almost identical, except for this weird fucking hat. What is that? Oh, my God. It's... Oh, because I didn't change my actual... It didn't include actual armor? What the fuck? No, it must have. No, 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 it didn't include actual armor. What piece am I missing here? Gloves, boots, more mortar board and culottes. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, okay. That's weird. It didn't include the most important piece. You bring that fucking hat? Could have made like three robes out of that hat. By the gods, I feel as though I've been transported backwards through time. You're the very image of the Nemean scholars of Eld. Well, minus the gown, but still. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it would turn out this well. Ha, huh, I see you approve as well, little one. Suffice it to say, we can consider this a great success. Huh? Got that XP and that spell. A level 50. Oh, level. F what? I didn't even get the spell. Ugh. Well, whatever. I mean, we'll do it at some point, but. Um. Um, well, I could do it now, make the video a little longer. Uh, sure. Maybe it'll be a quick one. You never know. Ah, yes. I forgot to mention that while I was waiting your return, I made considerable progress with the deciphering of my Nemean tablets. Much of what I have learned until now has pertained to the roles of scholars within the military. However, these latest texts offer insight into a scholar's activity during times of peace. As you can imagine, they were not the sort to let their restorative magics go to waste. One particularly stirring account describes their selfless efforts to combat the spread of a virulent plague, which at one point threatened to engulf all of Nim. Naturally, they did so with the aid of their fairies, which is why I believe that similar acts of charity may serve to further awaken your winged companion. If you are of a mind to test my theory, why not journey to Camp Bronze Lake? You will find no shortage of the sick and wounded there. Rukusa Ferusa would doubtless welcome your services were you to offer them. He presides over the warm wine sanatorium, so be sure to have a word with him if you decide to go. Dude, that's what we're doing wrong about COVID. We don't have fairies. The fairies would save us. Level 50. This is as far as I've ever gotten in this game. Hello, and welcome to Bronze Lake. If you desire treatment, I... 
Pardon, you wish to administer treatment? Are you even qualified to... Wait, you must be Mang, the scholar! We are happy to accept any assistance you can provide. I am told you possess magics which can cleanse the body of toxins, impurities, and maladies. At the present, we have five patients visiting the springs who would benefit from this care. Pray attend to these individuals and return to me when finished. Well, I mean, this makes a lot more sense for a scholar class quest. You just gotta cast a Suna on these assholes. My lungs, I, I can breathe again! Why'd you have to go and do that? Oh, bugger, now they'll take my wine away. Sorry, asshole. Here to heal the sick and wounded. What did you do? You took something from me, something bad. I don't know what you did, but I'm glad you did it. What, Asuna K cures PTSD or what? Oh, he had a corrupted ether inside of him. Well, what's this warmth? Did you do that? Oh, I'm gonna have to do it again. No, I don't want to fight you. I'm a fucking scholar. Leave that for the soldiers. Yeah, okay. Heavy-eyed individual. Set me free. I no longer feel his eyes upon me. Dude, it's like a scholar learns Asuna at level... Uh... Actually, when do you learn Asuna? Oh, level 10. Level 10. Anybody can get to level 10. There should be an, uh, you know, a scholar or a white mage at like every single one of these places. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. What you did for those patients was nothing short of miraculous. Their commanding officers will be pleased to hear that they can return to active duty. You and Alka Zolka have my deepest thanks, man. Yeah, well, now we pop back. Well, this was a quick one. Ah, Mang, Rakusa Ferusa tells me that your potent magics exceed all expectation. Had a good time, did you? Ah, I thought you might. It warms my heart to see the two of you making such great strides, and it reminds me that I must work harder to see that I am not left behind. For the nonce, I will resume deciphering the Nemean tablets. Though they have yielded an immense quantity of information on the scholarly arts, I remain confident that they contain an equally impressive wealth of tactical information. There we go. Finally, we got Luster. So that's that's the one that uses Ether Flow to do a big heal. So that might come in handy. Um, I don't really know where to put it, though. Put it, uh, put it there, I suppose. Alright, uh, that leaves another Scholar quest, which gives us the Scholar's Gown and Sacred Soil. And, and a complete set of attire. Nice. Uh, but I think next time, we're gonna go back to the main story. We've got a couple dungeons to do. Should be pretty cool. Um, then after that, we can do that quest. And a bunch of Scholar quests. I'm sure we get the uh, Garuda Eggy and other stuff. Alrighty, my name is Mang. 
game watching has been Final Fantasy 14. See you fine folks in the next part.